Hi everyone, it's me, Wei Xiang here. Today I will share a question that I found online. Uh, some parent posted it up. And uh, she had asked to do it using a model method. So I will show you how it works. Vincent had some peanuts. He ate one quarter of it last week and two thirds of the remaining peanuts last night. So his mother gave him another 4.14 kilos of peanuts just now. Found that he then found that he had as much peanuts as he had at first. So how many kilograms of peanuts did Vincent have at first? So first of all, we refer to this part, okay, where he has sorry, this is going to be okay, where he has one quarter last week. He ate one quarter last week. So I will draw four equal parts. Okay, so one, two, three, and four. One quarter was eaten last week. Okay, then two third of the remaining. Now, so if this is two third, okay, I'll just bring this part down here. It so happens that this fraction is very nicely done for you, where there are three parts already. So two third of the remaining, you don't need to cut any further. Okay, you don't need to like what the parent did here, change the denominator to twelve. It's not necessary in this situation. Okay, so this was eaten last night. Okay, so um, his mom gave him another four by one four kg of peanuts just now. He then found that he has as much peanuts as he had at first. But what this basically means is that the mother gave him a top up, and the top up of peanuts equal will make everything the same again. It's as if he has not eaten them. Okay, so it is as good as saying that this one, two, and three units, okay, were topped up by the mother because now he's back to normal. So three units would therefore be four point one four kg. One unit would therefore be one point three eight kg. And how many kilograms of peanuts did Vincent have at first? Well, he had four units at first, so four units will be five point five two kg. So there you have it. A very straightforward question. Um, possibly a paper one question. Possibly a two mark question um, because this part here is very very easy to draw. You don't really need to convert or you don't really need to equate the two fractions here to denominator 12. It's not really necessary. So I hope this helps and I uh, look forward to seeing you guys um, tomorrow. I apologize for going missing in action for the past few days. Well, it was our Jubilee celebrations and I must say I had a wonderful time with my family, my dear children and my wife. It was a good time playing catch up with my family. And I uh, hope you had some good times over the weekend as well. In the meantime, Hope you have a great evening ahead and look forward to seeing you tomorrow. Bye.